As the pups were opening, a traveller came walking down a dark and rainy street. He saw the door ajar, entered the public bar, said landlord, I would like a beer and something nice to eat. I fancy some crusty bread and roast beef for old England. Butter from the churn and tangy homemade pickles too. And if you think you could draw some bitter from the wood, I'd be most content to quaff a foaming pint or two. I'll sit by your open fire, I'll contemplate infinity. The quiet of your hostelry shall seep into my heart. And if a regular should chance to come into the bar, I just might engage him at a contest with the dark. Strictly, said the landlord. I've got pre-packed fish paste sandwiches and soy sausage sandwiches, what purchased by the ton. And if you fancy it, I might defrost a bit and pull after it. We catch up in a supermarket bun. I'll sling you a plastic pot, a super sparkle ready brew. As advertised on TV by some famous rugby scrub. Now no filthy barrels here. We serve hygienic beer, safely paralysed inside an aluminium drum. Sit down by the fire squad. I'll turn the logs on right away. Or maybe you would care to play the latest fruit machine. Now three cherries in a row, that should set your heart aglow. Oh listen to me juke, boss me juke, boss me. <laughs> What'll really set the scene? So the traveller sat down inside the polystyrene ingle nook. The plastic beam vibrated to the electronic sound. He took a bite, began to chew. Sunk his pint of ready brew, gave a gasp, and fell dead upon the ground. Oh dear, said the landlord, and he turned his colour telly on. Another fatal accident the third this week, I fear. If they can't hold their own, why don't they stay at home? You don't half get some funny customers in. Yeah. Brilliant.